Hi guys, this is Devil and welcome back to another video and today we are doing the season finale of Fictional War Season 2, Avengers vs Justice League. The combatants are shown on the screen right now. Since we're using comic books, continuity is extremely important. So for the Avengers, we'll be using 616 and for the Justice League, we'll be doing post-crisis. And just to save time for the analysis, I'll skip over the characters' origins and just get on to their most important feats, abilities, and other stuff. So, on to the Avengers analysis. First up, we have the genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, Tony Stark. Tony's most powerful armor that I'm giving him is the God Killer Mark II armor, which is multiversal in power, speed, and durability because it can kill several celestials. Tony's other armors have phasing tech, can grow smaller than a red blood cell, and some can act like a symbiote. The reason why you can use all these armors in this fight is because I'm giving Tony the house party protocol, and the last thing in Tony's arsenal that's worth mentioning is the Dyson Spear, which is something that can shoot a massive laser beam from space, and it's named Soul's Hammer, it can destroy planets at 2% charge, kind of like a Death Star, but way more powerful. On to Captain America. Okay, so Captain America is building level in strength and durability, he's massively hypersonic for speed, and his shield is nearly invincible to everything except cosmic beings, and he also has some grenades and other weapons. On to Thor. Okay, Thor has a bunch of different abilities and I'll go over them quickly since I don't want to go into them in great detail since I want to make this analysis pretty quick. He has enhanced sensors, elemental manipulation which include weather, electricity, air, earth and fire. He has memory manipulation, he has telepathy, telekinesis, age manipulation, time manipulation, soul manipulation, mind manipulation and he has his iconic weapon Mjolnir which allows him to make force fields and control his power. Now let's go on, on to his stats. His God Blast killed characters like Galactus and Odin, and these characters are multiversal beings, and he's very, he's massively faster than light, being able to travel between universes instantly. And in durability, his solar system level through scaling to the Silver Surfer. He also has his super form, Warrior's Madness, which gives him 10 times his stats. Okay, on to Black Widow. Okay, so Black Widow. Black Widow, will go on to her stats first. She has small building level in strength and durability, and her speed is street here. She has gauntlets, um, which house tear gas, a rope, and mini explosives, and they can also shoot little taser pellets. Now, on to her collection of firearms. She has pistols, heavy ARs, and her widow's bite in her gauntlets can produce a shock with 30,000 volts. Okay, onto Hawkeye. Hawkeye scales the Black Widow in the form of stats, so we'll go over all his trick arrows. He has explosive arrows, shock arrows, grappling hook arrows, acid arrows, pin particle arrows, which when released, um, shoot a bunch of arrows out of the sky. He has flare arrows, sonic arrows, and he has lots more. Um, as I said, his stats are the exact same as Black Widow, and his only weakness is once Psychopath GM2 arrows in his ears, and he lost 80% of his hearing, but he has a hearing aid um, on him, so he can hear fully, but if it's damaged, he will lose 80% of he his hearing onto Hulk. Okay, so Hulk, I'm going to give him World Breaker and Devil Hulk, which means he's way more powerful than he normally would be, which gives him unlimited strength, super speed, regeneration, Gamma radiation manipulation, and if Hulk does the thunderclap, he can destroy his universe. His best feat is shown to put out 960 duo div dilution. I can't say that number. Um, yeah, but he does have unlimited strength over time. And with Devil Hulk, he's basically immortal. Onto Wanda. Okay, so Wanda slash the Scarlet Witch. She has reality warping, probability manipulation. Chaos magic and chaos magic manipulation. She can fly. She has sleep manipulation. She can see invisible people. She has deceased manipulation. She can bring people back from the dead. She controls magnets like Magneto. She has telepathy. She can create portals. Let's do feats. She's multiversal level plus because she's stated by Doctor Doom to surpass the Cosmic Cube and the Beyonder and created a House of M reality which wove her spells into all of existence. 
um, and she once destroyed every single mutant by saying literally three words, no more mutants. She's massively faster of, than light in combat speed, since she can keep up with Thor and for travel speed as well. Um, her only weakness is that she, if she loses control, um, she loses control. She has no control over her body. On to Doctor Strange. Okay, so Doctor Strange. Let's start with his magic spells. He has the bands of Sidorak, which are unbreakable unless you're as strong as Hulk or Thanos. He can fly, move things with his mind, travel through time, create pocket dimensions. He can create fire that can't go out with the flames of the 14. He can also teleport, create illusions, hypnotize you. He can make force fields, steal powers. He can perform in his astral projection, which makes him invulnerable and like a ghost. He can also fly and he can also perform all his things in his astral form or his spells. Um, he also has the cloak of levitation, which allows him to fly without using any magic. Also, he uses supernovas as weapons. Um, and with that said, let's get on to his stats. He's comparable to the ancient one who received the Yumar bolt of Bemerwild in a microsecond, which puts her faster than light. Um, he also has the Skull of Fortune, which instantly returned him after Adam Warlock sent him to the edge of the universe um, through the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, but in, in his astral form, he's higher, his durability is multiversal. And he can scale the characters like Thor and Hulk onto Ant-Man. Okay, so Ant-Man. I'm going to composite him with Scott and Hank. So he can shrink to the size of an atom. He's the smartest person in the entire universe. He's building level in every single stat and speed. He's hypersonic. He can control ants with his mind. Okay, onto War Machine. Okay, so War Machine goes to Iron Man, who destroyed a media that was the size of... The one that killed the dinosaurs. He can fly, control energy. He has light manipulation, can absorb stuff. He has so many weapons like plasma cannon, guided missile launchers. He has a flamethrower. He has tear gas. He has smoke bombs. And he can go invisible and intangible. He can phase through stuff, basically. Um, and he, he's massively hypersonic in speed. Okay, on Spider Man. Okay, so for Spider-Man, I'm going to give him the Iron Spider, so let's do what the Iron Spider gives him. It gives him flight, um, he can glide through the air, he has thermal vision, so much that he can see people through walls. He has an onboard oxygen supply, camouflage, he's capable of camouflaging um, into anything. He has energy absorption, he has extra arms, he's capable of absorbing energy like a siphon and redirecting it back at an opponent. He has adaption, this, um, the spider suit can detect to adapt to um, stuff like toxins, it can adapt to microbiology and stuff, it has limited body control, with the iron spider he can use um, a liquid metal to in, in heal injuries like Master Chief, um, and he has webs obviously, um, he can wall climb, regenerate his bones in hours, and he has a spider sense and his large building level in strength, durability, and for speed, he's supersonic. Okay, on to Captain Marvel. Sorry for the text to speech voice, but this needs to be up before Christmas. And I really bad planning, so yet again, sorry, just skip to the Tom stamp on the screen. If you just want to do animation for Captain Marvel, I will start with her stats. She is planetary level and possibly solar system. If she is in her binary form and speed is faster than light speed and okay onto her abilities, she has flight. Precognition, extrasensory perception, can sense exotic radiation, can detect energy sources. Her seventh sense allows her to sense the status of others, self-sustenance, martial arts, vehicular mastery, pressure points, stealth mastery, enhanced senses, energy projection and absorption, has included thermal, electrical, bioelectrical, light, radiation, magic and sonic, statistics amplification, cloth manipulation, Healing, force field creation, heat manipulation, light manipulation, gravity manipulation, radiation manipulation, can knock people out through draining energy, explosion manipulation, vibration manipulation, preparation and non-physical interaction, resistance to poisons, diseases, electricity, hellfire, power absorption, freezing, sleep manipulation, empathic manipulation and mind manipulation. Onto Black Panther. Okay, so Black Panther abilities include enhanced senses and can reach to bullet and other stuff. He also has some equipment like he has a force field, a teleportation device, and he has a suit that absorbs energy and can release the energy later on. He also has claws that can cut through anything and his stats are building level and strength and durability. And his speed is hypersonic. Okay, onto. 
Okay, so vision power is he can flight change his density, he has a laser beam, and can phase through objects, he can go invincible, and he can absorb energy, his speed is faster than light and yeah on too. Quicksilver. Quicksilver is fast than light, and in these building level and everything, and onto his abilities, acrobatics, martial arts, accelerated development, parking, weapon mastery, regeneration, intangibility, water running, self-perception manipulation, minor sound manipulation, durability negation, vibration and air manipulation, limited time travel and flight, resistance to toxins, precognition and limited heat manipulation, okay, onto DC side of things. Okay, so, yeah, that was just take the speech, um, I feel... I know I understand it feels annoying, but I'll just do summaries of these ones. Okay, so for Batman, um, he gets the Hellbat. The Hellbat is multiversal through defeating Darkseid. It ca can fly. He has a giant laser, and it has a punch to kill Darkseid. Batman is the second smartest man on the planet, and he's the best detective on the planet. Onto Superman. Okay, so Superman is multiversal in strength, durability. He's massively faster than light, he has heat vision, frost breath, he can fly, he's powered by the sun, and as a last effort, he can use the solar berm, or solar flare, which vaporizes everything around it, but it permanently um, destroys his power for 24 hours, which isn't permanent, but still. Okay, under Wonder Woman. Okay, so Wonder Woman, um, she can create illusions, summon lightning, control fire, she has an atom slicing saw, Sword that can come out of her bracelets, her bracelets can absorb energy, she's solar system level, and for every other stat, she's solar system level, potentially multiversal, um, and for speed, she is 52 quintillion times the speed of flight. So Flash, if she's fully charged with the entire speed force at full power, he, like everyone else on this list, he's pretty much multiversal, um, and he's super faster than light. Um, he's, com he's comparable to Superman and Wonder Woman, so that means he's at least 52 quintillion times speed of light. And he, um, also has the entire speed force, and he also generates it, and he can take speed from others. Okay, onto Green Arrow. Okay, so Green Arrow, um, I'll put all his, um, trick arrows on screen, but other than that, he is superhuman. Um, basically the same as Black Widow and Hawkeye. Yeah, so he, uh, is every single trick arrow that he has. And then afterwards, on Green Lantern. Green Lantern, we're using Hal Jordan. He can create anything his mind can think of with his ring. He can, um, say, make a massive mech suit and absolutely wreck uh, whoever he's fighting. Um, he's multiversal in every single category and massively faster than light. Thanks to scaling to other lanterns. Okay, on to Aquaman. Aquaman is super fast, super strong, he can chill underwater for as long as he wants, and he can talk to fish, or he could dominate their brains and force them to vent to his will. And some fish that he can control can destroy green lantern constructs. Also, Arthur's powers are not just limited to aquamarine, aqu aquamarine life, he telepathically communicates with all sorts of animals, and can even tap into the human mind. He has difficulty dominating more intelligent life, like his octopus friend Topo is one such example of beings he cannot forcibly control, and the only thing he can do it to a human is give them a seizure or a headache. His trident can control water, summon force fields, create storms, unleash lightning, and teleport. And his, his mountain level for strength and durability and for speed is hypersonic. Also, he can swim faster than a torpedo onto Black Canary. Okay, so Black Canary. We'll start off with her ability. She's a martial arts master. She has weapon mastery. She's sparred evenly with Wonder Woman. She's extremely good at acrobatics. She resisted against a mind control attempt. She's small building level and massively hypersonic in speed. She has grenades which act like a sonic scream. But how powerful is her scream? Well, it's worth 597 tons of TNT. But her, and her only weakness is if her throat is damaged it won't be able to work okay on to zatanna 